Hello, dear friends. Welcome to our prayer moment here. Good morning, good evening, good night. Whichever time you're watching this live or on demand, welcome. Feel my love for you. May your heart be filled with love and kindness. My name is Shane Martin. I am broadcasting from Richmond, Virginia, from the Spirit of Society of Richmond. So today, we are going to do a prayer, prayer for compassion. I'm going to read a small part of a message called uh, From the Book Heart and Soul by Emmanuel through the medium Chico Xavier and its message eight in life's account. Emmanuel says, let compassion clean your eyes and lubricate your ears so you can see and listen in the glory of good. How many times we generate complications and exacerbate problems only for demanding from others that of a hero and saint we, can, we still cannot do. Let us try to react as we would like others to do before misunderstandings or concerns and the difficulties were ours. The earth is full of those who censor and accuse. Let us support us ourselves mutually. Sometimes in the moments of irritation or hopelessness, you pronounce unfortunate words that you would like to recover to make them, them useless if possible. And thank, you thank the goodness of the listener that decides to throw them into the basket of oblivion. Therefore, why not act in such a way when receiving a negative comment from someone in despair? How not to adopt the same standard of action when one of our bodies is sliding into the shade? Let us admire our fellows when they devote themselves to the good or when they try, they are in harmony with the good. On the other hand, whenever they slide into evil ways, let us treat them with the love we declare to cultivate with Jesus. All right, I'm going to welcome to a prayer for compassion because we need to compassionate towards our fellow beings. I hope that you are able to close your eyes and focus inward for a few moments and cut down all the external distractions. Pray mentally, repeating mentally or loudly if you're alone, if it's not going to bother anybody else. Repeating the words of the prayer mentally remains that we are augmenting the power of the prayer and will, our thoughts will have greater effect towards connecting with the higher realms. Shall we? Dear Mother, Father God, we are here today thankful for the opportunity of being together. Today we thank you for all the compassion and kindness that you bestow upon us. We thank you for the compassionate hands of our garden angels who are constantly keeping company, inspiring us in our daily activities. We ask you, dear Lord, that your compassionate eyes be bestowed upon our errors. May we gain the strength to be compassionate towards our fellow beings. We pray that we are kind and affable and meek. We pray that we are compassionate towards others' mistakes. We pray for compassion with our own mistakes. We pray that we are able to discern that we are still spirits that are evolving. We pray that in thought, action, feelings, and ideas, we are compassionate towards one another. We pray that your love and your light be spread all throughout the earth, soothing the suffering of those who are in despair, caring for all of humanity. We pray also for the animals, our brothers and sisters. May we be compassionate towards them. May we be compassionate toward the vegetable kingdom. We're 
eternally indebted to them for providing us with the oxygen we breathe. May we be compassionate with our Mother Earth, who receives us in this physical experience. May we open our eyes and minds to the inspiration of good spirits to be kinder towards one another. Dear Lord, please inspire us throughout our days and nights. May we be open to receive your counsels through the good spirits. Protect us, guide, and inspire us towards aligning with the good. And so be it. Dear friends, thank you for joining me today. I hope that you have a wonderful day, night, or evening. And I will see you next time when we join you again for another prayer.